and and we're live. And we're live for episode 19 of Slap Happy. That's right. We're here. We're doing it. And uh, in case you hadn't noticed, we're doing it somewhere very differently. Okay? I am doing it somewhere very differently. And there's a good reason for that. And I may explain some of it a bit later. Before we get going today, I want to ask everyone, well, firstly, I want to say thank you for joining me. I want to say welcome to the show. I also want to say please subscribe. If you're on the YouTubes, I want to see some subscribe action happening. If you're on Apple Podcasts, go ahead and hit subscribe, leave a review. Leave a review. Tell me what's up. Tell me how your day been. Tell me how, tell me what you did today. You know, what's the weather like where you live? I want to know. Okay, talk to me. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'm going ahead with uh, Slap Happy episode 19. Now, this is my podcast. My name is Civilian. And I want to prove to you today that this is not a niche podcast. Now, I, I didn't want to, when I set out on this journey, I wanted it to be a place where I could just kind of, you know, bring my thoughts and my feelings and whatever else I'm up to uh, on any given day. And uh, more recently, the podcast has taken like a, you know, trading related uh, point of view, which is cool. And I love that because that's a big part of my life. But today I want to prove to you that this is not a niche specific podcast. And um, I'm going to get my second guest on uh, today. So my first guest was um, the lovely, the talented Nicholas, aka Longhorn Fabrio, Longhorn Capital Fabrio. Um, he was on a couple months back and that was cool. We had a couple, couple of really good chats. Um, today, I'm going to get my second ever guest on and uh, his name is uh, Ruku. He's my little brother. He's my rapper, friend and now business partner. Make him feel welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. What's up? Um, so this is Ruku, ladies and gentlemen. Say, say hello to the people out there. Hello to the people out there. Are we recording? We are recording. All right, cool. We're recording there? We are recording. Okay, beautiful. I made the mistake of... That's all right. It happens. Um, I was just listening to um, uh, YKTR last night. Um, Luke was talking. Uh, they were just doing their Inside YKTR podcast. And... Um, uh, Luke sheepishly, uh, Luke's like the, have you, do you know who Luke yeah, is? Yeah, he's the one that does a lot of the meat. Like yeah, does a, yeah. Digital stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so he was kind of sheepish, sheepishly admitted that he had, they've rec- they'd recorded the episode twice and he didn't hit record. Oh, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it happens. Like yeah. I, I reckon there's, there's one episode actually on my, um, was uh, I think. one of your first ones? You no, it's, like a- it's like episode uh, 13 where, there's actually no footage of me oh, because right. I just fucking gave up. I just. <laughs> <laughs> what did you put on it? Oh, I'll show you. I'll pull it up in a sec. But basically, it's it's um, it's. Oh, I'll pull it up. Um, because I just I was just like fuck it. I, I'm this is too much effort. Yeah, I, I mean, re- at the end of the day, like if you get on a good run with what you're saying, then like. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't want to. Re- I didn't want to redo it because I I was happy with the the audio content. Yeah. Um, and it was like. And some things you. Like it, like I've, when stuff I d- happens in the moment. You yeah, just exactly. Can't do that again. When you do a video interview, have you ever done video interviews? Like for a job? Uh, no. Really? So some jobs make you do, or like not an interview. It's just part of the application form. Mm-hmm. A part of the application. Oh yeah, like a tell me about yourself kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And like I've done ones like that before. I fucked it up and then had to redo it. And like sometimes you do it badly, so you're yeah. like you're happy to redo it, but other times you're like fuck that. I'm nah, not, I'm not, not doing it again. That yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is it here. So it's um, it was like a kind of a it was kind of a pulled together episode about um, oh here we go. Let me see if I can pull this up. It was like a pulled together episode just about random stuff that I was doing. Oh right, yeah. I've seen nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and it's like I'd recorded it three times. I think this is the third time, and I was just like, nah. What did you not have? There's audio. Video? Yeah, but did you not have video running the whole time? Like, did you no, not realize? So what happened was I was because I'd hit the recording on my fo- on my uh, watch because you can hit record on the watch. For your phone. Yeah, yeah. but if you, I don't know, somehow. It's it, risky. Yeah, it just fucks up. Yeah. It just, it's happened so many times now. Yeah. One time it actually worked for the best because I was able to come back and like I was talking about a topic that I was like, I don't know, I was able to flesh it out a bit better the second time around. Yeah, exactly, but, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. 
anyway, so that's yeah, that it happens. It's part of the it's part of the game. It's part of it's called show business, and um, it's a content game. And you know, not everything goes according to plan. No, no, it doesn't. Anyway, as you'll uh, as you'll recognise, I've got the slap happy logo, and I think this is a step up, and I'm fucking I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, I'm I'm keen to do a bit more of that. So did I do, did I do the? You did that, yeah. Did I do all of it? Uh, I did I? You you did the face. Did I do this? No, I did. I did. But I did that. the civilian, hey. Yeah, you 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 got the civilian and the face, yeah. and I put it all together yeah. to make the actual cover. Yeah. Uh, so I yeah I did that. In it is in over. Which is um, uh, for people that don't know, like big step ups. You know what I mean? Over the last what like, for year. over? Oh no, nah, like your your you like taking a taking a wheel with uh, design stuff and. Especially with your podcast, like it was yeah. stuff that you outsourced a lot, and now that you now the last like what six months to a year, you've started mm. to take a lot more control over it and see what happens. I told you, you just put the work in just and start. It, just got to start doing yeah, it. Yeah, and it, you just get better. You realize what, what looks shit. You realize what looks good. If I keep getting zapped by this goddamn microphone, <laughs> it's still I'm happening. Fucking slap it. It keeps going. Slap it. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking slap it. Pun intended. Um. So, Ruku. Yeah. Um. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I mean, I'm poor. Yep. But I'm optimistic. Yep. And um, you're not. You're not. Uh, you're not hope poor. No, nah, I'm definitely not hope poor. I've got plenty of that. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, how am I like all encompassing, or like what is a specific type of me that you want me to break down? You answer that question however you like. We'll, well, like, we'll get. <laughs> We'll get more into detail. I'm just, it's, a gen, it's, it's just a general passing. It's kind of one of those, <laughs> how you going, like, you're not meant to answer fully. Ah, uh, okay. Well, maybe preface that. Well, well, you'd, you, well I'm to, on your podcast. I thought you wanted me to talk. Yeah, obviously, but like. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good. Thanks, Matt. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good and you. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. Yeah, yeah good and you. Next time. Yeah, yeah good and you. Um, good. I'm, gl- I'm glad. I'm, how are you? Yeah, oh, yeah, good and you. Come on, you go. <laughs> can't just use it straight away. Nah, I might. I might. A uh, bit of a stonking day in the markets today, <laughs> but we'll um emphasis on stonk. Yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk a bit more about that later. We're going to, we're going to do some fun. I actually came up with an idea just before. Um, you're going to interview me about stonk. trading. How? I don't know. Just in general. Yeah, we just. I don't know. Right. We'll figure it out. Right. Anyway, so I want to say um. Uh, a huge, huge shout out to everyone. Massive. So, massive. So last week I um I come on and I said uh, on the podcast I said, you know I only had one review, and I I kind of implored everybody to go and review me because there was only one and it was from that hate nasty dude uh, who left a very confusing <laughs> review. Um, that was so funny. I was, find that so funny. It was like he wanted to hate but not hate too yeah, much. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. He never, he, yeah, he's not a very good hater. And he I didn't really have anything bad to say other yeah. than the fact that he compared you to something else. Yeah, it was, it, was, uh, it was cute. It wasn't anything directly bad that you did. It was just like compared to these guys, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. not as good. Yeah, yeah. It was, it, was a, it was a, look, good on him. He obviously yeah. hasn't been a hater for long. Nah, he doesn't... needs to work on his hate game, to be yeah. fair. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, a few of you guys went on and, um, and reviewed the podcast and I'm going to read a few of them out now because I actually didn't realise this until yesterday. I was going to show Luke um, the hater and how funny it was <laughs> and how I only had one review because I, I actually hadn't checked through the week. I thought I still had just one review. So I went on there to have a look and show him the, the hate nice review and it turned out that I had... Um, actually, a few, a few reviews. Oh, did mine come up yet? Uh, yours has not come up yet. Oh, what's that about? Yeah. But, but, it, but it turns out six of you went on there and reviewed um, after last week's show. And I just wanted to say thank you. So to everyone who, to the six of you who went and reviewed it, uh, thank you. You've got my star rating up to 4.5, which is um, pretty fucking good. I'm happy with that. Um, considering it was two last week. So, yeah, so this is the guy down here. He goes, um, his name's Polish85. And this is the guy that, like, you know, Fabio had a, um, 
had a little Twitter beef with. I'm assuming this guy, it's this guy. I don't know for sure that it was this guy, but I'm pretty sure it was this guy. I had like a little Twitter beef with and then the guy's gone and started trashing me on um, on Apple Podcasts because that's what you do these days, right? You get, you get pissed off or, you know, you have like a bad experience with someone. You go full Karen. You go fucking, bro... <laughs> Bro, I'm about to you fucking speak get, to the manager. You I'm going to speak review. to so many managers. So many. And this guy, he he's one of them. He needed to speak to the manager. Turns out <laughs> that I am the manager of my own podcast. Um, but what what's confusing is that it wasn't. It was the the only source that he had that was like public, aside from messaging, which you already had done, I guess, like speaking to Nick directly on Twitter, right? Mm. So it's like, what? How else can I get at him? Like. Oh, yeah. I'll defame I'll his take, friend. Yeah, I'll, t- I'll take his friend out. Yeah, or I'll ruin his reputation. Look, and fair enough. Fair enough, you know. God damn it, this cute thing fucking <laughs> <sap of> me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so my I feel microphone. like your reputation's tarnished personally because if I'm John Doe yeah. and I go and, and I'm like, I, you know, I'm looking for a good little podcast, something that makes me laugh a little bit, maybe something about trading, you know, yeah. like something that's going to keep me interested. And I go to read the reviews. And I come, well, firstly, I come across Slap Happy. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit, this looks all right. Let me check out these reviews. I'm like, okay, hooked on the Slap Happy. I'm real nice. These are all good. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh wait a oh, minute. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, 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 that whoa, reputation whoa. just plummeted. Ba-bow. Let me just Let me just get out of that. Yeah. So. I was good up until that last one right there. Yeah, I thought this guy was reputable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, let me read it out because it's actually quite funny. He it goes, is very funny. The, the title is Found It Slow and Uninformative. And then he goes on to say, Happy for these guys to talk, but chat with traders is a lot better and has a more diverse range of traders and styles. Also, chat with traders is more informative in the way it gives you how those they interview become the master traders they are. Mike, drop. Mike, fucking. Drop it. Do it. I did. It. No, I don't. Um, so, look, I, I just found it really confusing because he clearly came on here to prove a point and he almost doesn't because it just, <laughs> it's almost like. And also he gave you two, so he's not that angry. Yeah, he's like. If you're really that angry. Think about it. Keep two and that and same a, energy. Two and a half is. 50%. Mm, that's not he, bad. He, I, I only just didn't pass. Yeah, what's that? The, what's, oh, 20. Three. I mean, four. No. <laughs> two and a half stars is 50%. Oh, well, two stars two is... Two. I don't know, fucking 40%. No. No. <laughs> that's what I went. What's... No, it is. It's 40%. Because five, yeah. Because um, yeah, uh, yeah, three yeah. stars would be 60%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So t- he gave me 40%. Dude, I'm telling you, if I was fucking... If I hated someone... Or if that was your only review, you're like, at least I didn't get one. At least I didn't get one. At least I didn't get 20%. It's actually, like, not the worst. He gave me 40%. So, man. And like I said, it didn't really actually say anything wrong. You just said that you're not as good as this not other Not as podcast. good with Chat Traders. And it's and like, how long? I mean, that's what they Chabot do. Chat with Traders. It's pretty obvious. That's he has what... a great podcast. He's been going for uh, years. Uh, he's interviewed, like, literally the best traders in the world. Yeah. Uh, he has a great, like, it's a, it's a great piece of content. Um... There is no comparison. I'm not a trading podcast. Anyway, we're giving him too much energy. Nah, it's, I just love it. Let it go. I just love it. it anyway, is, it's hilarious. Anyway, my boy Polish, he came through with the uh, hate. Yeah, shout the, out. The, 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 the love hate, I like to call it, because <laughs> he didn't know how to hate properly. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and read a couple more of these because um, I thought they were fucking great. So, and I just want to, I just like to pump my own book. So in trading, um, when you're pumping your own book is basically you like, you, yeah, you spruik your own stocks. It's like when someone buys. You can't back up a trading term slang with another, with more trading slang. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> toot so, your own horn. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. But, but it's like, but it's, it's more than toot your own horn. It's like uh, if I buy a stock privately and then I go like say publicly, oh, this stock is so, like you say it oh, almost, right. almost unobjectively. Yeah. Sorry. Unobjectively? Uh, unobjective. Yeah, unobjectively. You say it unobjectively like you're impartial, but yeah, really yeah. you want the stock to go yeah, up. Yeah, right, right. So pumping your own book. So, yeah, I'm going to pump my own book here. Oh, uh, okay, um, I see what you mean. Yeah, Sav. Uh, so this is from Cart1076. says, Sav, great show. Sharing your trading journey, both the highs and the lows, is helpful for us new traders. Especially love the show with Nick where you discussed discussed actual trades. 
Keep it up, mate. Five stonking stars. What's the stonk? What like what's, what's the? Is that just like pure slang or is it an actual yeah, word? No, nah, it's meme for stock. Yeah, right. So stonk is. Oh, right. Yeah, stock is like a stonk is like <laughs> a stock that never stops going up. It's funny with words like that. They just if they just sound like it's not just what it is, but just how it sounds. Yeah. Stonk, like yeah, it's just, stonk. Yeah, stonk. It's so meme worthy. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's yeah, that's basically what the word is. It's just stonk. Yeah, you know. Um. And then I'll, 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 do, uh, I'll, do, I'll do one more here by uh, Jacob L. My boy, Jacob L. I'll see you, baby. Uh, not only has this podcast been ridiculously interesting, it has also <laughs> provided me with some actionable tips, not financial advice, to massively improve my trading. Thanks, heaps have. Anyway, there's a few other ones there. They're really good. I fucking love them. When I found these, it was a very welcome surprise because... It's such a weird thing, right? Like I put this content out into the world. I put myself out into the world and I don't necessarily expect anything else to happen. I just do it because this is, I, I'm enjoying doing it. But when I get welcome surprises like this, when I go onto um, a, a, a Apple and I'm meant to be showing just like a hate and ass review, but I find all these fucking lovely reviews, it's like, oh, damn. Like yeah, I, and I guess it's also, I feel like the reason why it also just like, feels so good is because in comparison to music, like with music, it's like so subjective and it's really difficult to get good feedback and like know for sure. Like it's usually only if a song really, really touches someone that they let you know or that they're willing to sort of say something like this. Yeah. Whereas like, I don't know, it just sort of hits a bit differently. Yeah, if you provide a good resource, because that, that's the thing, podcasts generally are like learning tools. Yeah, exactly resources. Right. It's more... It is more objective. There is more like action, actionable stuff that comes out of it. Like yeah. Jacob just said here, some actionable tips yeah. from my podcast, so right? And yeah, but music, it's really hard to pull an actionable yeah. step out of music. But I'm just saying like, in, like for you personally, <clears throat> in comparison to music career compared to the podcast, right, like right, how right. this sort of resonates differently because of the, just how they, the mediums are just so different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, every, every t- any time you can get... <clears throat> anytime there's an instant feedback loop involved, it becomes a little bit easier to navigate because you don't have to guess. Mm, exactly. um, <clears throat> you know, like, you, you're either wrong or right. You mm. know, people kind of, and especially when they're given a platform like this to tell you, yes, this is good content. No, this is bad content. Mm. Like, dislike. Yeah, do you know, more of this, don't do more of that. Yeah, exactly. You can kind of, like, there's metrics, there's navigation. It just, yeah, it's yeah. a bit easier. Um. Yeah, so that was super nice. And also, I um, just happened to jump on my um, email providing um, platform, whatever you like to call it, and there's a whole bunch of people that had been subscribed to my email list. Which let's, I, go. let's go. Uh, which I need to um, make the most out of at some point very, very soon. Welcome email. Yep. Yes, sir. Um, so... How lo- do, you, do you want to know time-wise... You yeah, what are we up to? 18 minutes. 18 minutes? Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, no, nah, I mean, it's whatever. Um, but I, what's the longest one you've done? I think the second chat with Nick was maybe an hour and 10 minutes, hour and seven minutes. Cool. But, yeah, I think, I think like 30 is probably my average. Yeah. And I like to keep it around there. So I'll allow you to speak for 20 seconds. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, my G. Um, so, yeah, last week I also said that I, I think I decided on my next single. That's and cool. um, I... <laughs> um, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to announce the name of the song. Come on, get it over to me then. The song is... Called I Never Fold. Okay. Um, some of you may be able to guess what it's about. I'm not going to disclose that yet. I'm not going to give any more details. I did, I, 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 um, I'm not sure how close I am to like properly going in to record it, but. Just I, say what it's about. Uh, it's about. Why? I mean, you've. You... I'm here now, I guess. Yeah, you're here now. You're... It's a, song, uh, it's a song that I've written about uh, my buddy Tim uh, that I've dedicated to him uh, that um, speaks about some of the more important topics 
in terms of um, having a go and, um, uh, yeah, just staying in the game. So it's a really uh, special... Trying to highlight his philosophy a little bit. Yeah, yeah, trying to highlight his philosophy and the way that he kind of uh, went about his business. So, yeah, it's called I Never Fold, uh, a lot of poke references, and I, um, I don't know how long it's going to take me to finish it because I'm just loving... I am genuinely loving the creating process at the moment, like writing it and recording it and demoing it. So um, I know that it's going to be my next single because I don't care about pretty much anything else right now. Uh, I just don't know how long that will be. So that's all right. I'll just kind of keep working on it until I get it perfect and then I'll put it out into the world. So, yeah, that's kind of exciting. Um, it, gives, it just gives me a bit, bit of direction. I, I hadn't had a lot of direction when it comes to my music recently. Like there's been a lot of songs that I've liked and a lot of songs that I've wanted to finish. But this one just kind of gives me a bit of clarity and direction. Yeah, and I think that's what you need today. Like you needed a song that, you know, you're going back and forth with a few, trying to pick a, yeah. something that resonated and it seems like something that hits so personal. Yeah, that, my boy. Yeah, something that hits. So it does. Personal. It hits. Yeah, it and, just, it, and it, it does give new me energy about. Yeah, it doesn't give me another option but to yeah, like finish it and 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 you know put it out to the world. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I um, uh, I thought it would be funny. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll keep this very brief. Um, before we we have a bit more of a chat about how you've been going or what you've been up to, mm-hmm. but um, I thought this this be kind of funny if um if you asked me mm-hmm. how the markets are going and how you're going, how I'm going in the markets. I okay? know though. I know you know, but I, I I want the people out there to know. But also, I want I want it to come from a lame man, <laughs> a lame man, not a lame man, a lame a man. That's how you say it, right? Lame man? Layman. Layman's terms. Lame man. I'm sure it's lay. Man. Yeah, lame. A lay. Like someone who's heaps yeah, lame. Yeah, I mean that. That's not there. Yeah, but is it? I could Google it. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, layman. Layman. So, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Matt. Luke. How's the market going? <sighs> I wish you never asked. <laughs> 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 um, okay, so Matt, Matt, wait, wait, before what, 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 we answer that, more specifically, how's the market going for you? Okay, well, I think I can answer for the collective. Yes. Um because it sounds like it. Yeah, it's it's been a bit tricky. So I am um, I'm currently about eight grand in drawdown. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> um, Is that optimism? Yeah, it's it's definitely the worst start to a month I've had. Um, it's not good. The red, the red just keeps coming. The market's super choppy. It really hasn't changed too much from last week, to be honest. It was pretty tough last week, and this week it is equally tough, if not tougher. And um, is this as a result of um, something global, like the current global situation, or, is, or is, are you talking about the Australian market or America, like global American market as well? I'm talking about our market in particular, that, yeah. that ASX, and is that? I don't know across the world at the moment. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can't answer. And that. is it because you only trade specific um, stocks yeah, not that so those ones aren't doing good, or is it the market as a whole, or is it from what you said? I'm oh, sorry. Carry on. No, 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 no. No, that's no, good. no, 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 I wasn't going to say anything. Um, I was just going to say, oh, shit, he's asking real questions. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not so late, man. Yeah. Um, no, because, like, from what, everything I've gathered from when, whenever we have conversations about it, it seems like you trade specific stocks pretty frequently, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not often that you're, like, you're not going, there's not a real big scope. But it's pretty, like... A, I have a, yeah, I have a fairly tight range, I guess. Yeah, so is it th- just those that are going bad or is it the whole market? It's not going bad. It's, it's, or is it it's unpredictable or, or it's, that is predictable? No, no, no. It's, so the, the, the term probably is, it's very... Uh, Non-volatile. It's not as volatile and it's not... Uh, it, it's very choppy. So it's, it's, it's very hard to... 
uh, read the order flow in yeah. terms of getting a sense of what direction it's going to go in. Is volatility always good? Volatility for a trader. For you. Yeah. You yeah, always want that. Yeah. Well, I do because I want to be in and out of something really quickly. Volatility sounds awfully unpredictable. No, no, no. Volatility just means quick moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So... Well, that's the way I see it. It it just means means quick moves. It means like sharp rises and sharp falls. But but patterns to it still. So you'd rather this, right? You'd rather like up like this and then down like this. You'd rather that over. Yeah. You would. I would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because if something goes like sideways like that, it's yeah. like when has this move finished and started? Yeah. yeah, it, yeah. It's very very hard to pick the bottom and top of those different moves and make money okay. in between them. Ah, uh, yeah, but if I see I, what you mean now. If, if, I, if something's going to go all the way up here, you'll see in the momentum yeah. that it's going to just and keep going. it's a matter of time until it comes down as Yeah, well. it's a matter of time before it comes down. Yeah. That's totally fine. It can come down whenever it wants. Yeah. But, but if you, you'll see in the order flow the momentum. And a lot of like the way that you position yourself is trying to um, anticipate that. Yeah, dropping. anticipate that move. Yeah. But, but also... Um, I don't even have to anticipate it. I can see in the actual order flow the strength in the buying or the selling. Right. And it's consistent. Yeah. You can see like, all right, something's getting sold off heavily. So I'm, is, I, it, is it also the, at the moment that not as much is happening just period? Like there's not yeah. as much movement in yes. general? Yeah, so generally in February... So would that... Could you then extrapolate and say that that's a result of the um, economy? Yeah, it is. There is a bit of a... There's no, like, real fresh cat catalyst. Apart from, I mean, the, the, the stimulus bill got announced, like, the other day, the American stimulus bill, which, you know, uh, this time last year when it got announced, or, you know, it was a, it was a fairly strong catalyst. Mm. Um, but what this was time, announced? I haven't seen it. What? It was $1.9 trillion. Is it just, like, a one-off payment again for people? Mm, it's a whole bunch of different stuff. It's, it's for businesses. It's for uh, families, families. Uh, children yeah, right. um, that they've introduced this like new policy or bill where kind of like um, uh, you get $300 for every child or something. Yeah, right. So Biden's coming through a bit? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. In some, some circumstances. Some yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so the $1.9 trillion, that seems like it would be a good catalyst, but it hasn't, it hasn't had the same effect this time around. Last, last year when, when this stuff was happening, all the, all the stimulus, all the tech stocks, all the like... Um, all those like growth stocks just went crazy because yeah, right. um, people, I don't know, I guess they were like funneling into the market with their money or something like that. Um, but at this time around, it's, uh, yeah, just it's and not as... And the beginning of COVID, so there was like mass volatility regardless of yeah. like just in general. Yeah. There's so much fear. Yeah, it was a very different time. I, I, I suppose things had gone up, has gone up so much since then. It's like how much further can they go at yeah. this moment in time? Why there is still that little bit of uncertainty. uncertainty. Um, so, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, it's just very choppy at the moment. It's, uh, you know, the things that I like to do, like the match. I just, I just had a little bit of a, uh, I had to laugh to myself because you're, you're, you started the podcast by saying, I'm going to prove that it's not about just trading. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and then you get your first guest who's I'll not do. a trader to interview about trading. Come on, talk, talk trader, baby, talk trader. <laughs> like, just any chance, yeah. Any chance. you got to think it's a little bit ironic, right? It is a bit ironic. Yeah. And that's exactly why we're going to continue along our, on our um, trajectory towards the end of this podcast by moving on to our next, uh, next point of topic. Conversation. Conversation. Point of conversation. Um, topic of conversation. Either way. So, uh, should we... Well, so, we, you and me, uh, we started... I'm not going to say business. We started doing some stuff. We started a business. We registered a business. We, started we registered a business. a business, yeah. Yeah. We <laughs> have a business location. Yeah. We started a business. We started a business. It's just that it's like uh, the egg. Yeah, it's very new. Anyway, so far, all we have to this business is this table and this green and these fucking pod mics. Should we t tell a story about the table? Oh, is that worth telling? Do you know what? I was actually going to... It came. It popped into my mind earlier when we were talking about being a Karen. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, we almost and, went full Karen. Yeah, we yeah. almost went full Karen. Yeah, but that was worth it. Sometimes Karens 
you got to respect the Karen. They, they, they stand yeah. up for their rights. Do we, like, Dad's do we, a bit of a Karen. Dad's, dad's a massive sick. Karen. Yeah. Dad's a huge Karen. Yeah. My dad, right... Um, so we'll be in like Maccas. We'll be in the we'll be in the drive through line in Maccas. And he's okay. So to set the scene, he's been a retail uh, center manager for like twenty five, maybe thirty years. He's always worked in um, like shopping centers and generally as a center manager or retail manager. Um, so he's used to kind of like walking around and you know wearing a suit. Well, and it's everyone, not. It's not just everyone that. respects it's more, him. No, and, no. It's more the fact that. Because he... He knows how businesses are meant to operate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he's not scared to put his foot down when it's some <clears throat> bullshit. Yeah, I know. You know, <laughs> when it's like some actual things that make sense. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So there's a, there's a few sides to it. Yeah, it's a, it's a yeah, double it's side of yeah. Anyway, um, so one thing he'll do is in, in a shopping centre parking lot, if there's, a, if there's like a parking spot allocated to like the centre manager, my dad will always park in it <laughs> because... He, he, just, knows. he just he knows. knows. No, no, no. Because he knows that you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And they should a, reserve the closest spots for disabled, disabled and, and like they, yeah, pre- yeah, pregnancy yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah. when he sees right out the front center yeah. manager, like who the fuck is this motherfucker? And he's probably he thinking, if I didn't have a center manager spot out the front of my office, yeah, this guy does not like deserve this. Yeah, he does not. So yeah, it's any anything that's like reserved, which is admirable. No, it's fair, but it's like pick your fucking battles. Like go cure poverty before you start. Oh, look, I respect it. I definitely picked up a lot of those characteristics from him. Yeah. Like picking up the table, like driving into the, the, the truck loading zone to, at Ikea. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. I shouldn't have drove in there, but I just I was going full dad. I'm like, fuck this. Fuck like, these I'm guys. I'm walking all the way down there when I can park here. And yeah, especially like, with their bitch-ass customer service. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we Yeah, so we bought – so we're going – Well, so we, we, just, we wanted to go get a table. Yeah. And we go to Ikea. And that had a grand vision for a I square had a vision, table. I had a vision for a square table, right? I, I saw a podcast that I follow and they had this big square table and it just looked mint. It looked fresh, looked dope. Anyway, so I wanted a square table. That's just what I wanted. Cool. That's anyway, good. so we're walking around Ikea and we're looking, we're looking. There's some nice tables. There's some decent tables. We there's decided t- on a table, which is pretty much like this half of this table, but a little bit longer. And yeah. We're just going to put the screens on either side and sit like opposite each other. And it was going to work. We were going to make it work. But it was, it was like... It was an idea. We are compromising. We are compromising. So we, we, had a deci- we made a decision. It was, it's, uh, it's from Ikea. It's called the Icandesan or... We don't need to know the name. Edicassan or whatever. We don't. Not, not no, relevant? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whose name is on that fucking screen right there, boy? Who made the name that's on the screen right there, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Who bought the screen that the name is on that you made there right there, boy? I don't know. You'll get that one. Uh, Who uh, put the screen together? <laughs> yeah, they put it on the table. Yeah, exactly. It? Boy? Um, boy? So, <clears throat> yeah. So we're Isaac at Ikea. Isaacin. Isaacin? I, I, uh, yeah, I don't, we don't need it. Yeah, no, no. We don't it's, need a, it. it's irrelevant. Um, so we decided it was like $350. We're going to go find it in the... Um, you know, the, the, the bit. Narnia. And, and then, what? Narnia. Yeah, we're going to go to Narnia, go find it. And then we decided to go have a look in the cheap section where they usually have their, like, discarded returns stuff, and returns. And, yeah, damaged stuff. Anyway, we go in there and lo and behold. Lo and behold. <laughs> um, this square ass, beautiful ass, Perfect ass table mm. was sitting there, mm. and it was discounted from three hundred and eighty down to hundred dollars. Right? Yes, it bingo, was. bingo. Talk so I go, it. I go up to uh, old mate at the at the counter, and I'm like, "Oh, gee, I want to get that table there. How much to get it delivered to my place? Because it's assembled. We can't fit it in the back of your car. Nope. It, as as big as the back of your car is, it's just not going in there. No, nah, definitely not. Not no. going in. Yeah. Um, so I say, you know, how much for the delivery? And he goes, all right. So seventy five, I think. You um, you go, you go buy it, and then you take you it around. Walk it out. You walk it out. Like take, it's, walk it out. Take it out to the delivery place and let them know. Let them know. And then, for, by all accounts, we're thinking like, all right, cool. We've got to pick the table up. He's giving us out a, He's giving us the instructions. Pay the bill. They'll take it off. Put it in that big truck and big drive truck. it to the front of our house. Big perfect. It'll be perfect. Yeah. Big delivery truck. Big delivery truck. A truck that carries lots of furniture. Big stuff. You would think that that's like a pretty adequate size you think to carry furniture. You think considering they have fucking sh- um, the world's uh, biggest factories. The, they ha- dude. They. Like, look at if ever, ever go to IKEA and just look up 
at, at the fucking like how high that shit goes. Yeah, I know. Like, where, like at the bottom of the warehouse thing. Yeah. yeah, I know. Like if you look up and all you can see is fucking prepackaged furniture. Yeah, we're like a, it's like a, it's like what an ant would see in our pantries. Yeah, exactly. We like, like yeah, massive. and you think and 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 you think all right if these guys have like literally they fucking have a whole village worth of employees. <laughs> Do you think they would almost definitely have a huge ass truck huge. to deliver enormous fucking shit in? Enormous. Right? So anyway, we fucking we, what do we we go pay our money? Um oh no, we, we, we're, we're about to yet. go we're about to go Old pay. Oh mate our money. tells us, hey look, you got to take the legs off to, for to, to fit in the back of the truck. Yeah. And we'll first just like just we're like stressing I'm sorry, a little what? bit. Mm. I'm sorry what? A breath take it away. I'm like come on G, like for real? And then He's like, yeah, and then we're like, okay, it's pre-assembled, probably just undo a few screws, boom, legs come off on our way, 70 easy, bucks. Easy. The, the, the table was discounted $75, 75%, so yeah. we'll, we'll, you know, the time span versus the money, so it's bit like it's all take, good. Bit of give and take. We start to take the legs off, and it turns out the whole thing had to be disassembled just to take the legs off. Yeah, but the, 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 oh, yeah, the, most, the, yeah, the most excruciating part is out of the 16 bolts that we had to take off to get, so there was four for each leg, out of the 16 bolts we had to take off to get the legs off, the last one, six, number 16 out of 16, was so threaded that we couldn't get the motherfucker off. So then we go, we go, hey, G, we can't get this last leg off. Can you, you know, help us out here? So he goes, all right, let me get fucking Bob and Mrs. Bob the Builder. You see, Mrs. The- Bob comes out first. Mrs. Bob comes out tools first. and whatnot. Tools. Absolutely butchers it. Does, butchers it. Like, uh, she uh, had a crack. She yeah. had a crack. She at least had a she crack. She had a crack. She goes back, brings out Mr. Bob. Mr. Bob. So Mr. Bob and Mrs. Bob are down on the floor. Mr. Bob honestly has one brain cell. He had no, he had no <laughs> idea what was going I'm on. I'm sorry, Mr. Bob, but like, come on. Sorry, he, he honestly, he tried to put the Allen key in the hole that wouldn't even hold the Allen key, and he tried to hit the hammer to knock it loose. Yeah. It just, it, it didn't even sit in the hole. It fell out before it could even try and hit it with the hammer. Yeah. And he still, he went like this and still tried to hit it with the hammer just to, yeah. just to like, for show, like to do it in front of us. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's got oh, a look, hammer. He oh, 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 shit. He's oh, got tools. Oh, he's got tools, yeah. My boy got tools. And then so they sit there. This is like in the middle of the like area where everyone's sort of standing to like get their delivery sent off and whatnot. So... We're doing there. We, we, we do our due diligence, due, due diligence, you know what I'm saying? We take the legs off. Just DD. DD. In the, the trading community. D- like, you've got yeah. to do your DD, yeah, I-M-H-O, you D-Y-O-R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So woo. So woo. <laughs> and then anyway, they're, they're going at it. Mr. Bob and Mrs. Bob are going at it for like probably five minutes trying and to get this thing undone. a little baby came out. A little baby came out. I wish a little baby, a little baby screwed. <laughs> and to not look like fools... So the table was still assembled. If we could have got that last screw out, we could have left the top all assembled and just got the legs and, like, it would have been pretty easy. Yeah. But because they didn't want to look like idiots, they took everything apart and then took the bits that were still connected out the back. To undo it. To, to undo to, it. To try so we're like, all right, off. well, at least, at least we'll get that undone, right? Yeah. Ten minutes later, it comes back out. Sorry, we can't do it. So, uh, uh, yeah. Just give us a fucking thing. So just, anyway, after, after they couldn't get it, uh, the, the, the last bolt off, we realised that they had taken the table apart so much that we could actually now fit it in the back of your car. Yeah, so we just put it on the trolley. Put it in the there. trolley, fucking wheeled it out. And we'd spent 45 minutes there di- disassembling this goddamn thing, thinking we're going to put it in the truck and have it delivered, only to realise that... I still think about it. It's stressful every, as every fuck. Every time I see the table, it just brings back. And, and, and as we're walking out, I was just like standing there like getting ready to talk to a manager. <laughs> and I look at Luke and I'm like, can I talk to a manager? And he's like, bro, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it, bro. Come on. Because I'm sitting to myself, I'm just like stewing inside my head. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. We both, I was like yelling at someone. I was just so annoyed. <laughs> we both wanted to talk to a manager. It was like, look, if they, if they handled it well... It would have been sweet, but they were so dismissive and like so not to the point and yeah. so awkward in the way that they spoke to us. And, and it was just like, fuck off, just get home and set it up. And yeah. I think we made the right decision. We learned some things. We did. We're better people. We're better people. No, we are better people. I feel. But sometimes you just want to fucking go full Karen. I know. 
But it was too late. Yeah, there was three people that handled the situation. It's like who, who, we, who, like honestly, who would I Karen up? Gun to your head. Who would you have Karen up? The dude at the, the beginning, the chick, or Miss, Mr. or Mrs. Bob? Uh, no, that old dude the, who had the tats that looked kind of managerial. Oh, the one that had nothing to do with it. Yeah. So what he would have copped said? it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most Karen move. <laughs> yeah, who looks Oi, like the most important? <laughs> Nah, he was going to fucking get it, I'll tell you. Yeah. Oh, listen here, mate. Oh, you're waiting here for 45 minutes. Oh, sorry. What, kind of, what kind of business are you running here? <laughs> yeah, I was, he was going to fucking get it. Yeah. Nah, anyway, so we got the table for $100. We didn't have to pay the $70. So Ikea... Rough 40 minutes, by the way. Ikea, if you're out there, fucking suck it. Yeah, when. You're not getting I was going to say we're not coming back, but we probably... Oh, we'll, we'll be back there in like <laughs> a couple of days. But we won't go... We won't get deliveries. <sighs> and we won't go back to those people that served us, that's for sure. No more Bob and Mr. Mrs. Bob. No, they had their chance. Yeah. Um, we're up to 40 minutes. Okay. Uh, do you know what I'm thinking? We, we probably... What have I told you about thinking? Yeah, I know. It hurts. Um, no, what I'm thinking is uh, at the end of this, uh, once I finish the slap happy part of it, we do a little more chatting mm. and we just chop it up and make it our first mm. looters mm. party because, mm. I mean, all that stuff's relevant. <laughs> Sorry, guys, you didn't hear Ugh. nothing. Delete that. I'll Delete it, it out. I can we'll be it We'll bleep yeah, we'll it out. Live. Okay. Oh, oh, also, also, before we talk a little bit about you, guess what's on this weekend? <sighs> Forty. Yeah, I'm we're fucking so excited to watch some footy. Yeah, how excited are you to watch the uh, 90s win. finish last? Win. Yeah, pretty keen to watch them win. Yeah. Um, what about you? No, I'm just, it's just, I realise that without a doubt, the best entertainment is sports. Yeah. Without a doubt. Like, I love it's watching movies. Yeah. I love a good documentary. TV shows are a bit hit and miss, but But sport, I will, I will, on a Thursday night life. or Wednesday night, I like the other night, I, I flicked on fucking A League, and I was I mean like I don't mind the A League. Yeah, I don't mind but soccer. It ain't footy. It ain't footy. It ain't just cricket. to clarify NRL. We're talking about NRL, we're not that, Melbourne. No, yeah, not that AFL shit. Everyone here says footy for AFL, and I'm like, fuck, that's not cool. Yeah, that's stop stop kidding yourselves. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I just flicked on the A League, and Some I was just like, shit. bro, I will easily watch A League over. Over a fucking movie. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather watch sport every it's day just, of the week. It's real life. Like, yeah. you're, you're really seeing people sacrifice some shit. But that's why I respect a movie that has hectic acting. Yeah. And someone who's, like, going all the way with their character, you know? Like, yeah. like some, uh, like, Joker and shit like that. And, like, some, like, Batman. Just characters that go, like, you know, you know like, Christian Bale. Like he yeah, really they go beyond, yeah, they go beyond, they go beyond our normal experiences. Yeah, what's it or... called, that uh, type of acting? Are you, like, play, oh. played out act, character in real life? Uh, no, nah, mind blank. Yeah, I don't know. Something. But yeah, that type of shit. That's what it... Because you're like, fuck me dead. Like, shooting a movie, that'd be yeah, some that's, hard that's shit. Yeah, that's some real shit. Learning lines, like, god damn. Doing lines. Yeah. Got zapped again. I just got zapped. Unlucky. Oh. Yeah, what do you want to know about me? Um. Well, no, no, no. Well, uh... I googled when you asked me how's the market doing today. I googled how's the market. I was going to try and pull out some, oh, pull out some, some numbers. Some numbers, yeah. Just, oh yeah, so fucking the Nasdaq. Well, that's contrary to what I heard. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the S and P five hundred. <laughs> yeah, I don't know much market shit. Um, it's overrated. It is. It is. Um, yeah. So, well, just before we move off of the footy, uh, do you know who the Knights are playing this weekend? Doggies. Well, that'll be kind of fun. I think, that, I think I think I uh, think Broncos on Friday night. Doggies beat um. Do you remember Doggy when they beat them in that fucking that game in the wet? I think it was in the wet. They beat them like recently. Doggies beat Knights. Yeah, at the end of last year, there was a game in the wet, like towards the end yeah. of last year. Yeah, I think. We're and they really to start. yeah, and they really you just really needed to win it to yeah. like um like push for the finals, and you couldn't yeah. beat anyway. the dogs who were fucking anyway. who were coming last anyway. Um, anyway. and you see big big Saf, what named co captain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty hectic. Yeah, it's dope. And Yo, shout um, out your boy. Shout out my boy, Big Saf. Big Saf. Daniel. Safidi. Congratulations. Nice. Yeah, congratulations. Senny, Massive. Senny Coast boy. Yeah, shout Senedis. out. Senedis. Legit, but 
Sanetti's raised. Like seeing him play Origin, I was just like, this is weird, man. Like this, yeah. it's such a big achievement. Yeah. It was just, yeah, it's, it's really good. Yeah, future star or current star. Current star, yeah. Current star. Future legend. Future legend, yeah. No, but I think I think um, there's a few parts of the Newcastle side this year that are kind of exciting. Mm. I think if they get a little bit more, I mean, obviously but that's we, what every team needs to be more consistency. But yeah, look, this year we're at a place <laughs> where like, if we don't perform, then it's like, yeah, what's like, going on? Yeah, it's like you give me, it's like Penrith. No, so it's like, like Parramatta this year. Well, yeah, if Parramatta but, don't but perform Penrith this year. A few years ago, they. Gus Gould, they've been building for like yeah, 20 yeah. years apparently. Yeah, yeah. And then it was like it started to get a bit it's old. Like, it's like, come, come on, guys. You, yeah. build, you build or what? You're still building? Yeah. But um. Oh, yeah, we're still building? Yeah, I'm optimistic. Yeah. I'm yep. optimistic. Um, did you hear about like what happened with Pierce here at the beginning of the season? Yeah. Yeah, so that's like a little bit of a not a, not the best start because he was going to be the captain. That's why yeah. it's changed. So yes. Last night, he, I think the other day they gave me one year extension. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah, no, it's um. What do you reckon, Piercy? Uh I'm still I'm, right. I'm on the fence. Like he's just too inconsistent. He's he's when he turns it on, he just like yeah. That's what they were saying. Like Kenny was saying on 360 that um, uh, yeah. yeah last like a, year, a f- I thought he was a good defender, but last year he shocking. Like, and I'm talking about like I'd watch games thinking he was defended well, and then I'd look at the stats after or hear the commentators and like you know what I mean, watch Broke breaking it down. It down and. Turns out he's missing he has a been, lot of game winners and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. But he has, like he's me. always been known for as a great defender. Yeah, because he's a good, good up and under, good legs tackler. Yeah, yeah. He like gets, he squares them up. He just, um, I don't know, he just overcommits. Yeah. And then I, I guess, yeah, the, the Knights' fortunes last year were very much dictated by Pierce's form. Yeah. You just kind of sure. hope it isn't that way this year. Yeah. Well, we got Blake Green all year this year and he's, he looks good towards the end. Won't he, be, won't he miss the start of the season? I'm not sure. Is he injured? Yeah, well, uh, I'm pretty sure him and Ponga, yeah, yeah, him and Ponga are out for the first couple of rounds. Yeah, I think it's like a month. Yeah, but anyway, there's a few, there's a there's a few good like Phoenix Crossland and Tex Hoy and Connor and yeah, I'm not worried. And we got Brayley. Brayley was injured. Yeah, well, he missed a whole season last year. So, like, if everyone stays healthy, uh, that's the name of the game. Like, that's really what most teams win and loss comes down to injuries and yeah, and um. 21, uh, 2021 Premiers, Parramatta, Eels? Uh, yep. do, you, do I have to say yes because I'm on? You got to say yes. Yeah, no. Nah, like yeah. I reckon easy. 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 Like, That's it. Like, I'd give it to him now if I could. Appreciate that, brother. Okay. I reckon um, I've got a smoky, and I think, who was saying this the other day? Someone was tell, saying this to me, or maybe I just saw something, but Latrell Mitchell, Dally M. Be cool. Mate. If you just seen his, did you see him play the? No, I didn't uh, watch it. Oh god, he looks silky. Yeah. And uh, Hooper, uh, hoops, you know hoops, bull, yeah. bulga. Often. Yeah, he was, he was, he was at uh, Rabbitohs training the other day, saying like is he looks another, so good. Another, there's another one, an inconsistency. Like he's less, the, he's a lot more consistent for sure. But he just, he, he hopefully he's matured. Like he's getting to that place because like each season he seems like he's carved yeah, down yeah, a little yeah, bit more and more. Yeah. So hopefully. Because that's what it comes down to. Like, a professional isn't going blowing up and doing all those dog yeah, shots yeah, yeah. and all that dirty shit and yeah. giving away easy penalties. Yeah. So, And especially playing fullback. Like, yeah. it's just such an integral role. So. Yeah. And I think, like, last year was his first year. In, uh, yeah, as he was like, out most of the year. Yeah. He? Well, uh, or like, like, he had a few. Yeah, he had a few injuries. He had a big one but against Parramatta. But he was out finals, wasn't he? Yeah, against Parramatta. He um, got injured in, like, round, I don't know, 18 or something. Yeah. Or 16 or 17. Done his knee. Uh, I think it might have been ACL or something. Yeah. It was out for the rest of the year. Oh. Um, missed all the finals. But, yeah, I think he'll be much better for it. And I, yeah, I just, uh, the way that he played, like his, yeah, his mean, vision like, and, his, and, his, and his movement on and off the ball yeah, was just threat. very, very, very. No doubt about it. Yeah, yeah. It was just really exciting. Because yeah. I reckon, I reckon like. Because you love just watching a good yeah, player yeah. play. Like regardless of who they're playing for, even if they're pumping your team, just watching yeah. good footy is Good footy is great. I fucking get... love footy. <laughs> oh, footy. <laughs> we have to start a footy podcast. Footy. <laughs> nah, we can't. That's, uh, that, we'll leave that up to the. YKT, YKT, our boys. Um, all right, so how long have we got? What, what, no, no how long have we, yeah, For, how, 49. 49? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I don't know if we can. <laughs> 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 nah, so but basically, I just want to. I don't to, care about talking about me. It's just sort of like you should think about it moving forward, like when you're having a guess on what you want to do, because 
You know what I'm saying? We'll bleep this bit out, yeah? Yeah, yeah, bleep this for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. And, and look, I, I kind of just wanted us to have a conversation. Oh, this yeah, isn't, I'm cool This isn't with necessarily it. like a, hey, talk about, you know, music or yeah. let's talk about like your artistry or this. I, 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 you know, if that, if that crept in here, which it's about to, then so be it. Um, yeah. So yeah, tell me about it's your artistry. To, it's up to you. It's your, it's your podcast. <laughs> tell me about your artistry. No, no. Um, do you? Do you? Uh, well, anyway, Luke is a rapper. Ruku is my brother. He's a rapper. Um, he's been uh, putting out music for the last like four ish years. Yeah, something like that. And definitely on a bit of a roll of late. Uh, how many are you up to this year? Singles so far? Oh, it's only. It's only three. This will be my, I'm doing one every month. One every month. So this month, it's March, isn't it? Yeah. Wait. So I've done. Um, Mr. Buster? Was it January? Or was that December? Oh, no. Yeah, I've done Different Plans and Tough Love. And yeah, then this was Mr. Be, Buster yeah. December? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then Hakuna, Hakuna was, was November. November. Yeah. Okay. So and five. Have you, have you announced? Uh, no, nah, because I haven't finished it. I want to make sure it's definitely, because I'm like, I realise that. You don't want to give us a scoop? What, what player? No, you don't want to. Oh, yeah, no, I, I'm planning a release. Have you it. told it anyone? No. Nah, like nah, you haven't. No, nah, it's a world premiere. So you can tell everyone what the name of your next single will be? Yeah, the name, name of my next sing- single will be Outsider. Outsider. Yeah. Okay. It'll be, I'm aiming for the 26th. Of uh, March. This month, yeah. Yeah, cool. Because I really want to do one every month. But I realised that, um, you know, I had Patricia and yeah, that yeah. was pretty much done. And then I just listened. Oh, to, that's right. Yeah. I yeah. That. I just listened to myself and just like went with my gut feeling. And I was like, it just wasn't feeling right. It just wasn't really. Yeah. Yeah. So I started on a new song and uh, it's come together really well. But I, I just, I didn't want to rush it. Like it was getting to a place where I was sort of rushing a little bit. And then I just had to, you know, ground myself and realize like looking in, you know, in a couple of years, looking back a week or two difference in release dates doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Yep. But the quality of the final product yep. means everything. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I get it right. And um, because I'm because I got this, it would it pretty much be done if I didn't because I got the stems and um you know mixing it and trying to make bit it a little bit more interesting. There. Yeah. Yep. It's just a new challenge. Like I haven't done that before. Mm-hmm. You know, every other one's been a full. A full yeah, I track. think. I mean, I, I've done this shit on action potential, but. Yeah, it's been a little while, and things a lot of things have changed since then. I think, um, yeah, base. I, I think I, the notes I gave you this morning. There was probably one thing that I, uh, I, I there was something to do with. Um, I'll have to re- 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 listen to it. I but know there was what a, you said. No, no, but there was another point. There was another point that I didn't articulate because I wasn't sure if I, that was like actually what you wanted. But it was something to do with like there was a there was like a a lead like uh, string part or I can't remember what the instrument was but it was something in the higher end and it and I was just thinking like maybe it could be a bit wider in a yeah. mix I'll I'll re-listen to it I'll tell you exactly what it is but I'll try but remember remember how I said it's like one it, oh that's right it's one yeah, track yeah, yeah. all of the guitars and that that right. noise I think but the I drums the drums about. are separate yeah the drums are separate yeah so like I spread the drums and I uh, saturated that snare a little bit more and um, I know I tried to widen everything a little bit, and I made the the, the eight oh eight a bit more like thumpy and not as like it's it was a little bit too high pitch, so I made it like just hit a bit like yeah. thicker. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what I really would have liked to do was play with those individual sounds. But mm. next one, yeah, next one. Um, so it's called Outsider. You're trying to get it out on the twenty sixth. Yes, sir. Uh, do you think you'll? go for one single a month for the rest of the year or do you think there's a chance that you might try and sneak a like a project in there yeah no i definitely will i'm starting to think this is another world premiere oh shit yeah i'm dropping them no no not even i'm just starting to think more seriously about i'm definitely going to do some type of ep with the singles that i'm starting to collect because they're like adding up you're going to Put them together as one project. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It'll probably be like a three to five track EP, just mm-hmm. to be able to like really get through a lot in one go, and that that will be a release. For, maybe I'll like skip next month, say, and then a month after release a three or five track EP, something like that. Yeah. Or maybe I'll do another month or two and get it ready. But then, like in the next probably six months latest, I'll do like 
a more cohesive sort of mixtape vibe. Yeah. Well, EP still, but like a little bit longer and try and be a bit more intentional about the storytelling, maybe produce it myself. I don't know yet, but try and capture a, a, a topic or an idea, yeah. you know, like with Action Potential and, and but make it a lot more personal. How do you ever do you ever think about like how good mixtapes were or yeah. I mean are yeah hundred percent like yeah, fucking mixtapes chucking bro. them on and especially when they're like no ceilings like mixtapes yeah. that do like proper you, yeah use other beats and shit yeah. as well yeah we should start doing that yeah yeah it'll make us pump through songs quicker if we get other well that's that but was you can't put it on oh no but you can do you can go SoundCloud can't you no but you can do like um, YouTube no I even I don't know about um, what do I use now? To, um, Ditto. No. No. Distro. No. Oh, yeah, Distro. Yeah, I don't know about Distro, but I'm pretty sure I'm on Gyro, mm. you can do um like covers. You can and select shit. remixes or something. Yeah, remix yeah. and covers. So like, we could probably get away with it. Oh, I wouldn't want to. Not not get away with it. Do it. Capitalize on it. Make the most of it. Like. No, I'm saying I wouldn't want to put them on like Spotify and stuff. Why not? I don't know. They're good songs. Yeah, I just, it, I just feel like Spotify is like a cleaner, like that's your, this is your like top work kind of thing. Yeah, but it's not like, it doesn't have to not be. Anyway, talk about it later. Yeah, but I just, I like, if I was going to do it, I mean, this is just maybe an old, a more of an old school view of it, but I would, I, I'd like probably prefer. Um, yeah, just on SoundCloud. SoundCloud or Bandcamp or yeah, YouTube or something like that. Yeah, I'll do that but as like, well. With that piff. Did you ever fuck it? Man. Yeah, oh, shit. dude. I used to fucking find the best shit on that yeah. piff. You um, got, um, Alex Wiley on there, right? Eh? On that. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck's he doing? Um, yeah, do, do you want to know anything else about it? Not a lot. Not a lot. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I just realized I want to like do something where um, since like, you know, having a lot of music conversations with Cindy, um, I realize. I don't really get personal enough, like really talk directly about my story, I guess, or like right. maybe, I'll, maybe I'll give thought, my own thoughts, obviously, in like a first-hand sort of account, uh, mm. perspective, but not really an account of something, not really like, yeah. Like what would you talk about, though? Well, just sort of like storytell a bit more. Mm. And, um, you know, because, like, if I write a song, I, like, mention the things that are happening in my life, but I don't really t- tell the story of it or yeah. talk about it. Yeah. Um, I just sort of mention it. There's and, no like, beginning, middle, to, and end. It's just like... Yeah. Yeah, it's just like a song with, like, all the, all the different components and aspects that are ha- in my life at the moment. Yeah. So, yeah, trying to think a little bit more like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You listening? Have you listened to Lil Dirk's? <clears throat> album, The Voice. Is that the one with the red cover? Yeah, it was blue first and then it was like a remix. Yeah, yeah, remix. Yeah, yeah, I've listened to that. Yeah, yeah that's dope. But like, that, like the topic, the way how he does that is like talks about how, you know, not everyone in the hood knows about all this rich shit, this and that, the rollies and that. He's yeah. like, I'm, I'm trying to talk to those. I'm trying to be the voice of the hood. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not obviously not trying to be the voice of the hood, mm-hmm. but... That's a really cool concept that's just like he gets to just say all the things that he normally says but he just ever so slightly on the end just like cuts some fat and adds some different elements in and puts some different sauce on it and now it's like got a whole story and it eleva- that's what elevated him. Mm. And it was because he, he, he spoke for the hood and he, and he did it in a way to just like capitalise it and yeah. So trying to think like that um, is what I'm talking about when I talk about this other project. Yep. Something like that where I can... It it makes sense. There's something that there's like a just, there's like a something at the core of it that I can like pinpoint and then mm. I build around it rather than there just any... like a compile or so. A yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear, you, I hear you. Are there any? I mean, I, I guess to be fair, you did that around um, action potential. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what I mean. An idea, like an actual proper idea. Yeah. And okay. but like action potential esque, but more personal. You okay. know, a, a, a cohesive body of work. But with a more personal... Because action potential... Action emotional. Yeah, it could be. I mean, well, I was going to do emotional intelligence, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. Could, could still do that. Could still do that. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I just, um... And I just want to... Yeah, just something to challenge myself a little bit, like... Because it's easy to write how I write, right? Like, if I just... If I put right. on... Right. Right? 
you know, because if I just put on a beat and I just write, mm. it's just going to come out instinctively. Just, uh, just fire. Just fire. No, yeah. no, but you know what I'm saying. It's going to be instinctively my style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But trying to then turn that and intentionally yeah, inten- do a particular a, yeah. style. It's, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. And it's good because once you – and I feel like once you do that and you do a lot of it, like if I were to do it for a whole project, once you come out the end of it, it's just second nature and it's just like another tool in your arsenal. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it sound, I don't know if it sounds like a bit too vague at the moment. Not really. Oh. All right, cool. But, but you understand – you make music maybe. Maybe to other people that wouldn't. No, I think it makes a lot of sense. I think, um, I, I think what you're saying is basically like you want to write – like it's it's like taking an actual story that like a short story that you've written down and then turning those that story into lyrics. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, you know, may, maybe there is a hook, maybe there isn't, but like, yeah, that's not the point. Yeah. No, here. Okay, groovy. How how, how are we sitting for time? It's uh, I think that's an hour. An hour. Fuck. Yeah. What a waste. Uh-huh. Um. So I think uh, I think we'll fucking I think we'll wrap it up. Um, is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. Anything? Uh, anything interesting? Any questions, comments, concerns? What books are you reading? Um. Ah. Nah. We'll, we'll, we'll do that next week. No. Just t- just say them. You don't have to get into depth about them. Just uh, what, what books reading? am I reading? Um. What book? Uh. I am reading. Oh God. That's all right. We'll get into the next week. No, no, no. Wow, hey, just Homo Day. No, no. Homo yeah. Days. Um, just finish Get Rich, uh, Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter. Do you like it? Loved it. It's sick, eh? Yeah. Uh, such a pimp. Such a pimp. Uh, s- still reading uh, Limitless and halfway through practice. The Practice. I think that's it. Yep. Why don't you just... Because I have different books for different things. Like in the morning, I'll read Limitless because it's like part of my routine. And then um, Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter, I'll, I'll listen to at the gym. Yeah, obviously I get audio books. And then pra- the practice, it was more like a bit… Yeah, you can just pick that up whenever. In the Arvo, it would be like yeah. a bit of inspo to get me through the Arvo yeah. kind of… I mean, depending on the before style Before I start style working on music. Book. Yeah, it's yeah, all to do with style. Sense. Yeah. And like, you know, when, when, I had, when I was reading Bad Blood, which is like the Theranos story, it's like… It just it feels like entertainment, so I could yeah. f- I could read that at night. Yeah, exactly. So it's like a you know it's a kind of different parts of my brain. In the morning, I'm trying to like in- inform myself and yeah. get ready for the day. In the Arvo, I'm like trying motivate to entertain yourself. myself and yeah, maybe yeah. motivate myself then entertain myself. Yeah, man, so, it's, yeah. A, it's the best shit. More people need to read. Yeah. Well, I'm only just. <sighs> yeah, I mean, so am I. Really. Yeah. Like I want to get way better at it. Yeah, definitely. I, I did my uh, I figured out my words per minute the other day. Yeah. What was it? <sighs> I remember doing, I think my was probably written down in a book. Yeah. What was yours? What was yours? Like, because I, I have it's a between... number in my head, but I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's right. Let me have a look. So I think it's got to be between 150 and 250 is like. Yeah. Uh, kind of average. Yeah. I would say. You say yours first. I fully don't remember. I th- I'm going to make up a number. I'm not going to... Yeah, go. Make it up. 300. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> this motherfucker. No, I fully cannot remember. Mine, mine's 215. Yeah, right. Which I think is... Well, it's very average. I mean, if 150 to 250 is... Yeah, average. Oh, average, yeah, right. So yeah, so it's like... Yeah. yeah. So you want to get to like 400, I, I reckon. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you want to get to understanding first. Yeah, obviously. Before yeah. speed. I mean, it depends on what type of book it is. Like some books you want to read quickly and you can just skim and just catch things. Yeah. But some books you need to pay attention and like really, you know, soak up the knowledge. Yeah. And that's why spending too much time between reading and having different books can be a bit of a… Slow you down because, yeah, you don't know where your brain's at. You want to keep a flow on. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I'm with you. All right. So I reckon we just fucking wrap it up. I just reckon that's done. I reckon we'll, we'll put a fork in it, we'll, we'll, we'll turn it off, we'll, we'll bugger off, we'll get out of the office and we'll fucking, you know, head to Bali and say, what's up? <laughs> you reckon? Yeah, I'll yeah, go to Bali. Yeah, I reckon. I'll say. Okay. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's been episode 19 of Slap Happy. And um, 
Yeah, my name is Civilian. This has been my guest, Ruku. You'll yeah. definitely start seeing him a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. So uh, get used to that face, unfortunately, for everybody out there. Uh, thank you very much. If you're on YouTube or Apple, Spotify, podcast, whatever, subscribe, hit the like, give me the comment, give me the review. Uh, tell me how your days, maybe even send me a, a description of your food. Mm. Uh, that'd be nice. Mm. Anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of the week. Tell us what books you're reading. Tell us what books you're reading. Keep any stonking. Suggestions. Any Any suggestions. No, I don't need suggestions right now. I've got so many fucking books. Uh, okay, no suggestions, but tell us what books you can. Okay, you relate. can tell us. You can, you you know, can tell us what books bond. you're reading. Yeah, and uh, and if you but are no suggestions, no suggestions, only what you're reading. Um, yeah. and then I might say, yeah, <laughs> read that, <laughs> read that. Yeah, <laughs> or I might go, yeah, yeah, well done. Well done. Um, yeah, thank you for having a chat with me today. No worries, it was an honor. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll see you. I'm sure I'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs> we do work together every day. <laughs> cool. Uh, well, everyone stay safe. Keep stonking and I'll uh, see you next week. Bye to Bye.